What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day because I'm going to be teaching you how to perform numerical integration in Python. We're going to start out with our import statements. We're going to import from matplotlib import pyplot as plt and then from numpy import linspace from math let's import log pi and let's import sine now from scipy.integrate import simpsons rule which is simps and then from random import random so in this video we're going to be creating our own functions and taking their numerical integrals using simpsons rule after we've done the simple integrals we're going to add some random variation to our functions and show why numerical integration is sometimes needed First, let's start with our data points. That's going to be t equals lens space. We're going to start at 0.001, go to 2 pi, and that's going to be 1,000 units long. Afterwards, we're going to create an empty list of y, and that's going to be where the function evaluations from t are stored in. Let's populate this y list with a logarithm function. So that's going to be for x and t. We're going to iterate through t and perform the logarithm, the natural log operation on every value in this t and store it to y. So that's going to look like var equals log of x and then y.append var. I like this syntax better because it gives a little bit more of a discrete description of the operation we're performing. We could make this one line, but if we want to come back here and change it, it becomes a little bit more visually unappealing. So now that we have t and y complete, let's plot it to make sure that everything's looking good. So that's going to be plt.plot. First argument is t and the second is y. And let's call plt.show. And when we run this, we should get a graph that resembles a log function, which it does. So that's good. To calculate the numerical integral, we're going to use Simpson's rule. And let's say area equals simps. The first argument is going to be y, which is the data points and the second argument is going to be t, and y is a function of t, so you have to add your y value first. If we want to look at what that area is, let's print that out and see what we get. We see that we get 5.27 is the area under this curve from 0 to 2 pi. Now how do we know that this is correct? Well, we could do the fundamental theorem of calculus part 1 and test it to find out. So let's create a lambda function called func equals lambda lambda x and the antiderivative of log of x is x times log of x minus x. The fundamental theorem of calculus states that the area under the curve is the antiderivative which is func evaluated at the upper endpoint which is 2 times pi minus the antiderivative evaluated at the lower endpoint which is 0 0.001. If we print FTOC which is our area under the curve, we see we get a very similar number, which shows that this numerical method has performed quite well for us. And normally you can perform integrals using the fundamental theorem, but if we have data like we do in real life where not everything is as perfect as this graph, let's say, let's add some noise to this, and that's going to be log of x plus random times random. This is just multiplying two random floating point numbers between 0 and 1, to introduce some noise into this graph. So once we plot this, you're seeing that, yes, it does resemble a log function, but there's a lot of noise in this. And oftentimes, data you're going to be analyzing in the real world isn't so perfect as it was before. You do have a lot of noise in this, and that introduces the need to use a numerical method, which is present here in Simpson's rule. And this should work with any function we use. So let's change this to sine of x. And our graph should resemble sine, which it does, but there's a lot of noise in it. And we can see that the area under the curve is 1.54. And there would be no way to actually evaluate this integral using the fundamental theorem. And we can only find the area under this curve using our numerical methods in Simpson's rule. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks everyone for watching.